I think the most urgent problem in our generation is maybe the widening divide between a lot of students. A lot of the students around me didn't really feel like they had the power to really do anything about the issues that were affecting them. I felt pretty isolated, like being in my town in Logan in Utah. So I think that reading was really sort of like my portal to learning about new things and discovering new ideas. But I went to camp my freshman year at the Stanford AI lab. And there I met two really good friends. And we were talking a lot about a lot of the opportunities and resources that we had access to through this camp. And since I'm from Utah, I felt like my peers back home and the students in my classes didn't really have the same opportunities. So we wanted to start a way to share a lot of these resources with others. My name is Taylor Fang, I'm 16, I'm from Logan, Utah, and I started Algorithm. Algorithm started because we didn't see a lot of blogs targeted towards girls about areas besides fashion, so we saw a lot of things like fashion blogs and fashion magazines targeted towards girls. But we felt like this, there was this gap between girls being able to be interested in um, advanced areas of technology like artificial intelligence. Algorithm is both a blog where we post different news and opportunities and resources, and also now moving into the chapter uh, sort of outline where we have open source curriculum that we can provide to different students around the country and around the world who want to start clubs in their own high school to teach more students about AI or about technology. We really try to build a community, a community where girls can support each other and really create that confidence where if you fail or um, if you're vulnerable, you still have that support network to fall back on and create a feeling of belonging and access. Our core team is myself and my two other co-founders, Anne and Joanna. And then we also have sort of a director team but we really try to make it a very democratic community because we want everyone to feel like they're really a part of our mission and they can bring up ideas or places that they think we need to grow in. So my advice to anyone who wants to start a project is really to focus on your community and like looking around and paying attention to what problems are around you. And secondly, to be open to sort of stepping out of what you're told to do or what you're told to do in school. For me, I never felt exactly before I went to camp like anyone was telling me to step out of my comfort zone or to challenge myself. I would really encourage anyone to look for unique solutions to issues that they see affecting them and directly affecting their communities.